Peggy 18. In this four-part series, get an inside look on the making of one of the most anticipated titles in gaming history. This is Inside Assassin's Creed 3. Something we really wanted to emphasize was, was the sheer brutality of combat in the period. We've all seen the paintings of the revolution. Death is glorified, death is angelic, but it wasn't that way on the battlefield. It was a brutal conflict. It feels that you're constantly going through dynamic fights, and that's not something technically we could do in the past. So it was like a personal challenge on the team to say, no, I think we can do this. armies are filled with different types of weapons. So, you know, you have everything from muskets, you have grenadiers, you have guys with boarding axes. Being shot by a musket would be an awfully painful way to go. The caliber size of the ball was at least three or four times as large as anything that any modern military is using today. After the muskets were discharged, they would charge with their bayonets what basically is a giant spear, and he has every intention of running that through you. They would shoot and then they would march, and that hand-to-hand -hand combat was really brutal. And whether it's people using a bayonet affixed on the end of a musket, a small hatchet, this is a kind of killing that is very mano a mano. All the animations, all the weapons are brand new. It was interesting to start on a new style of fighting that is much more close and aggressive. Connor's favorite weapon is the tomahawk. Obviously, super deadly in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Also, the bow and arrow. It fits with his native heritage and it's lethal. The rope dart, it's a real accurate Chinese tool that we that we found the references for that period as well. He can use it from the ground so he can bring the enemy towards him. It gives him uh, the ability, for example, on a tree to, to hang someone from above. In Assassin's Creed 3, the one thing that we decided to do is to revamp the fight system from scratch. We wanted the skill in the combat in the game to be about transitioning from character to character by choosing the right moves, by performing them correctly. It allows you to basically mow your way through large numbers of people if you're good enough without stopping. What do you do if you go into a bunch of guys with muskets and they try and shoot you? So we had to figure out, can you dodge them? Can you run away? And we've added all these options, but our big one is the meat shield where you can grab a guy and just, he gets shot instead. Our mocap guys are stuntmen. We spend a long time with them rehearsing and figuring out exactly what would be the, the greatest choreography. We had to go through, you know, like multiple people. Connor is trained in a very different style of fighting to the, the British soldiers. The close quarters flow of the combat that's happening between the punches, the kicks, and everything else is indicative of what happens in the real world. I'm very impressed by the moves that they do. It's cool to see push kicks and axe kicks and different sort of takedowns that are done correctly and very believable when they're done. Right hand right, punch to the face, boom, to the throw, to the groin, finish with boom. This is something new for us that we're really proud of. It's fast, it's fluid, and you go through these guys like butter. Connor is essentially the first guerrilla fighter. He's someone whose goal is always to move behind enemy lines, to pick off his target, and to escape. Employing guerrilla tactics, or what we now know today as asymmetric warfare, was something that truly was a component of the American Revolution. They learned what we would think of as guerrilla-style warfare. You know, you start to hit quickly and then disappear. 
American tactics were really frowned upon by the British because the Americans did adapt the tactics that were used by the Native Americans from the French and Indian War. The first big battle at Lexington and Concord takes place on a New England town green. And as the soldiers march back to Boston, they are marching along a dirt road lined by stone. It's not the most effective strategy wearing your bright red coat and march through the woods while some farmer's trying to shoot at you. The Americans brought a tactic that they couldn't really cope with. They essentially took it away from the battlefield and they started guerrilla tactics. Next time on Inside Assassin's Creed 3, the hero behind the war. Connor is the hero of the American Revolution. He's a bit more like Dirty Harry. Connor is the current day Special Forces soldier. Silent, stealthy. He's fighting for freedom and he's fighting against tyranny.